Number 244 from Indicator is The Phantom of the Monastery, a movie from 1934, another Mexican horror movie and a movie that I loved even more than La Jorona personally. It just kind of tickled a lot of what I like about these kind of horror stories and this is basically about three characters. We have Alfonso, Eduardo and Cristina. Now Cristina and Eduardo are married. At the start of this they're kind of lost in the woods. In fact Eduardo has fallen down a ravine um, and managed to be saved by Alfonso. And as they wander about the woods you get the idea that there might be something going on between Alfonso and Cristina. Eduardo seems completely uh, oblivious to it and they are looking for somewhere to get sanctuary when all of a sudden they stumble across a monk who decides to take them back to the old monastery. There is some deliberation because, well, according to Christina, uh, this was a run-down place where nobody has been for ages, but the monk assures them that there uh, is a, a group of people living there just now and they're going to take them back and give them sanctuary for the night. And once they get back to this monastery, as you can imagine, all kinds of spooky going-ons happen within this place. We get to meet the, the group of monks here who all seem just a little bit odd and a little bit strange as they deal with our friends that have stumbled across this place. Now, the whole idea of the story here is the fact that we have a couple who are married and Christina is trying to kind of have a relationship with Alfonso. They talk about maybe getting rid of Eduardo in some nefarious way. There is some machinations here that these characters are dark or they're leaning towards a dark path right from the opening of the scene where Christina wishes uh, that, that uh, Eduardo had maybe fallen to his death rather than being saved from the ravine. Um, as they spend the night within this monastery it seems to bring out uh, their darkest paths. Christina becomes more seductive. She becomes more deliberate in her attitude of getting rid of her husband and moving on with a new love. She becomes more persuasive uh, and rather uh, vampish throughout the film. Uh, Alfonso, uh, the lovesick puppy, is trying to pull back against these feelings, but he is constantly being goaded and pushed by Christina. And then we have Eduardo, who almost seems uh, oblivious to the full situation and almost terrified of the building that he is now living in for the night. They go and have dinner with the monks. They hear a terrible story that parallels a lot of what's happening within this relationship. There is spooky goings on. There is the, the idea of something terrible outside the building trying to get in to kill these people. Some ethereal force possibly trying to get to them. It builds so much up, yet somehow feels like a kind of live action uh, antithesis of Scooby-Doo, the haunted gothic castle, uh, the group of people trying to discover a mystery that's going on here, a supernatural element that may not be a supernatural element after all. There is some wonderful transitions, there's some wonderful roving camera work here as well. The way the camera moves is surprisingly adept at really adding mystery and atmosphere to this movie. And almost from the opening scene, we're set in darkness. We are set within the night time, the woods where it's scary, within the confines of this monastery that has long shadowy uh, hallways, that has figures in robes that seem to be silent and refusing to talk, that have their own idea of what's going on. There are strange occurrences throughout the night that are just unexplainable. Something weird is most definitely going on. And although um, the idea or the revelation throughout the movie is something that we've seen done before many times. It doesn't rob the movie of any punch. It has that gothic atmosphere about it. It has that universal horror feeling with the, the black and white photography, the way the lighting is put, some of the performances, the music in particular is wonderful within this one. And it should be mentioned that this transfer is absolutely phenomenal, uh, way better than La Jorona. And this was thought to be a lost film at one point, and I'm so glad they discovered it. The Phantom of the Monastery was a wonderful discovery, an absolute amazing movie. Um, 
that I'm so glad Indicator put out and I have finally discovered this film because one I never knew I, I needed in my life but I'm so glad it's here. A terrific film that really just, yeah, captivated me, thrilled me, entertained in all the right ways. One that I will highly recommend and we'll go back and check out again. As always, I'd love to know your thoughts on the movie, so let me know in the comment box below. As always, there's more content up here if you want to uh, see more of my stuff. And if you click that like button, it means that I won't have to spend the night in a haunted kind of castle monastery uh, with these creepy monks, which I'd really appreciate. So hit that like button and save me from that fate. And you can join the membership program or the Patreon if you have a little bit of extra cash and want to support me. That would be amazing. If not... No worries, just watch your video, like, share, all that good stuff. It's amazing and I appreciate that as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.